but today we will be painting this adorable little cactus. Um, I absolutely love this. I will link below in the um, description where I got this template from. Um, if you have a jigsaw, you can easily easily cut this guy out, go to their website and you can get some. Um, it's really great, I love it. Um, who doesn't love a cactus? Every, um, I live in Texas, so of course, of course, of course, I love a <laughs> cactus. But I mean, I guess everybody does. They're so dang cute and cactuses are in. Llamas and cactuses, I don't know why. Okay, I'm gonna go in. I, my favorite kind of paint is Anita's All Purpose Acrylics. Uh, you can get these at Hobby Lobby. Um, and online, of course. I'm not sure where else. I just always get mine at Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm using Deep Celery to start off with. I'm going in, I don't know if you can see this, with just a little square brush. My brushes, I, um, I love these ones from Michael's, Michael's Craft Store. Um, they come in a pack of 50 for $9, and they're really, really good. I love them. So if you're if you're in the market for some some brushes, I'd recommend a Michaels. And if you can't find, you don't have a Michaels in your town, I would order. I would order for sure. They are my favorite. They last so long, and I don't know. Just and it comes with such a good variety. They have the uh, you get big brushes, you get these brushes, you get these brushes, round brushes. I mean, you just, it's such a good variety set, especially if you're starting off. I mean, how can you not beat $9 too for 50 pieces? It's, it's pretty cool. everybody's spring break going. Mine is, mine is very quiet. <laughs> um, my kids are with their dad. And so, uh, yeah, it's, it's very quiet. I don't know what to do with myself. I am very bored. <laughs> I know a lot of y'all lucky people don't have to work on spring break. Me, I mean, I don't have to, but I'm choosing to because I do, um, um, if you guys don't follow me on Facebook, my uh, Facebook page is Painted Beauty, and it's actually, the group is the better one to follow because it gives you, that's the one I go live on all the time, and it gives you notifications, and that's the one I do my live sales on. Um, I just make a bunch of things throughout the week, and then I go and uh, do little live sales, and you just buy what you see and yeah I do sh I do shipping so don't feel like you can't do this all over um, inside of Texas shipping is ten dollars and outside it's twelve so it's very affordable and after the sale um, I package everything up and everything will be sent out that Monday because I do sales every other Friday and so yeah they'll be sent out that next Monday and you should receive them within two to three business days from that so it's really fun I do giveaways all kinds of goodies so if you have not liked my Facebook group painted beauty is what it's called And uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you want more videos. Let me know what kind of stuff you want me to see painted or do. Uh, it's baseball season, so that's coming up too. Tell me what kind of, in the comments, um, post your favorite teams below. I'd love to know who everybody goes for. I am personally a 
St. Louis Cardinals fan. Um, I'm actually pretty excited about that one. Um, me and my dad, because um, I live in Dallas, Texas, so um, home of the Rangers. And so I am, where, what one is it? May 18th, I think. Yeah, yeah, May 18th. Uh, the Cardinals are coming and playing the Texas Rangers. So me and my dad have got tickets for that and we're so excited about it. I cannot wait. I've always wanted to see them play. My dad's only seen them like once or twice. And so it's just gonna be a father-daughter day. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I can't wait. Okay. Now that I've got all this little cat, look at it already. How cute. That celery green is so pretty. I use it all the time. It's like my go-to green color. It is my absolute favorite. Now I'm gonna go in with Anita's fuchsia. And I'll link in the description everything I use so you know um, what colors to go get if you choose to do this template. I'll give you the website, like I said, where you can go download this and you can order from him. Um, and he'll send it to you and you can paint along with me. Or, um, you know, if, like I said, if you've got a jigsaw and you got a good husband <laughs> that wants to cut out some stuff for you, um, then yeah, you can do that and come watch this video and paint along with me. This one's gonna be super, super easy to do. Now I'm just painting all the flowers. Cute little flowers. Okay. Yeah, I usually, uh, I've just started this thing up. Um, what I've been posting before is um, the only things you, you'll see on my page are my paint-alongs. I do a monthly paint-along, which is $25, and um, it's $5 if you want the bow that goes with it extra, and then, you know, of course, if you need shipping. Now, if you live in the Dallas, um, the Dallas area, um, that's the time I can meet you if you're close enough. And um, so you don't have to pay shipping, or if you're in the Odessa Midland area as well, you can, um, it's gonna be free too, because I'll just, I deliver to that area all the time. So um, what it is, is you pay $25, like I said, $5 for the bow, uh, 10 or 12 for shipping. And then I, what I do is I send you, um, every, into your email, I will send you a supply list of what you need to go get. Now, if you're, like right now, I have probably three or four ladies that do it every single month. So at this point, I don't even think they're having to go buy supplies because they've, they've got them already, you know, because a lot of the same thing, you know, a lot of the colors I use over. So, you know, after a while you'll build up, you know, a little bit of it so yeah I give you a supply list and, and on the 15th I upload a video to YouTube you have it's there at all times from then on and um, it doesn't go away you can if on the 15th if you don't have time to do it that day no big deal no big deal at all you do not have to and um, you can go at your own pace if you need to start and stop because your kids are going crazy or you just have to do something. You can stop, go back to your painting, whatever. It's it's actually really cool. And that's really fun. And then I ship out your piece to you with the with the hanger and everything. Um, and it's it's awesome. It's so much fun. And um, I show you tips and tricks and how to do details and different things on it. And I mean, you'll be a pro in no time. <laughs> And it's just fun to do. It's just fun to do. You know, most people think that painting is, is stressful, but it's not. It's actually like a really nice, relaxing thing, you know, and that's what 
a few of the people have told me that have done this, you know, they're like, we were so nervous at first, but it's actually really fun. It's, it's so nice. And it's like, I know I told you. Okay. I'm going to go in with Anita's Christmas green here. And then I'm going to get some of this deep celery because this is when I'm going to start blending things together and, you know, putting some dimension in things. And then, um, I just grabbed this one day from Walmart. It's Apple Barrel Christmas Green. This is not, I mean, I don't know. I like some of them. Some of them show up really good, but I just feel like Anita's, Anita's craft paint is just, it is so pigmented. That's it. That's what I'm looking for. It's so pigmented and it just goes on so good. You don't need as many coats. I love it. I love it. I love it. This is not sponsored. <laughs> I wish it would have needed us, hello. <laughs> but no, it's it's really, really good paint. So I'm gonna dip into that, the, the Anita's Christmas green, and then the deep celery. And then I'm just gonna kinda go a little bit on the outsides here. Wrap around the top to separate these two. See how did that? Can you just separate it a little bit? Hey, I don't know if you can see that. I wish I had a zoom in thing, but I'm using my phone here. Just a little round brush. Just a little round brush is all I'm using. Taking just a little bit of this Christmas green and using more of the green celery though. You know, that's the good thing about painting is, you know, it's supposed to be what you want, what you like, you know. That's what I always try and tell everybody, you know. Everybody can be creative. I know you can. It's in there somewhere. So whatever you want to put on there, if you feel like it needs somewhere, somewhere else, the thing about painting though is like everybody freaks out at first and they're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing. It looks dumb. It's, but it's all in the details at the very end where it's gonna start coming together. I promise. I think I'm going to Like I said, this is just to start out. Now I'm going to go in. A bigger brush, and then we're going to go over some of this with this green again. Just really, really blend things together. All those harsh lines and just make some really nice background details.
is what it looks like so far. Look at that. I'm loving that dimension there. It's fun. Okay. Now I'm going to, let's see. Do the same thing. I'm going to take this small, just brown brush. Gosh, my dog is crazy. I'm so sorry. She's so annoying. Now, this is just color that I got in the mist mix section. That is the best thing in the whole world. If you don't know, how, if you don't know what that is and you haven't seen it, oh my gosh, it's so great. It's at any of your Lowe's and Home Depot. It's at Ace Hardware. Anywhere that you have that is a paint store. It's it's so amazing. There's a section in every store. What they do is it's all the stuff they've made a mistake on. And uh, you go and it's just half the stinking price of all, all of it. Like... Gosh, I've got $50 paint for uh, $9 a gallon. It's crazy. And these little things are 25 cents. You know, usually they're almost $4. And yeah, during that time, it's... It's, not, it's awesome. Sometimes I go in there and I can't find anything, but you know, I've got like a whole thing out my garage where I just stockpile <laughs> paint. Cause you never know, you never know when you'll need it. How about these colors? Like long before I ever used them, and then one time I was just like, "Heck yeah, this is great." do the exact same thing I did before. Now that I did the little swirls in here, I'm going to go back in with a fuchsia. And I'm just going to go over the same areas for dimension. Just gives it a little something, something. Love it. You know, and a thing to remember when you're painting, don't try so hard. I, I'm a whimsical painter, which means, you know, it's not perfect lines. It's, it's just, it's fun. It's going with it. It's, it's not going to look the best. It's not going to, Maybe it's not going to look bad, but I mean, it's not going to, nothing's going to be perfect. And that's what I love. I love, I love seeing things that are imperfect and cute and you know, just. Now, yes, my mom, she's awesome. <laughs> she's a perfectionist and it, it drives her nuts sometimes the way I paint. See, she paints these little poles to for all the door hangers to hang on. It takes her a while to do it, but I mean, no doubt that it's gorgeous. So I mean, her stuff is amazing, but it takes her it takes her a while to do it. But hey, to each their own, right? Now I'm just gonna go in with this just a lighter pink. It doesn't uh, matter what you use. Just this is another mismatch matched thing and just gonna go around again like I said no rhyme or reason just go with it make little you see all that little dimension how they're all different I love them they just come out so fun
time to check out and see if Home Improvement's on. Does anybody still watch that show? I love that show. I watch it every single day. I've always loved it. Okay, we're gonna let those dry. And then we are gonna start on the bottom down here. Let's see. I think I'm gonna do black and white polka dots. I'm gonna do white with black polka dots. I'm just gonna get a big, a big square brush. And you know, I like to use Tupperware. If you have like paint in a gallon bucket or just a little bit in anything, or you need to mix a color, this is this is the thing I do a lot too, because I've used this up already. And I just put white in here and then squirt some of that future pink in here and just mix it up like this. And this is a whole thing of pink instead of having to keep buying, you know? So a good, a good tip is, you know, I had just, this much left in the bottom of my gallon and I got, you know, just a Tupperware, put it inside there. The lid keeps it fresh. It's easy to carry around, easy to stack. So you're not having all these, these huge gallon buckets everywhere. I did the same thing with my black. You know, I don't have to carry these gallons everywhere. And like I said, yeah, if you, if you see, I use tan a lot because I do leopard. Actually, my next one, I think I'm gonna do a leopard bottom. I'm gonna be cute. But I do leopard a lot, and so, you know, and I never can find the right tan at the store. I like a more of a yellowy tan. So, I get a, I've got a Tupperware that I mix my own tan in, and it's awesome. It's awesome. So, just a good trick for you. And I mean, you can get these things at a Dollar Tree, one of those dollar stores, and they come with, you know, like three in a package for a dollar. It's awesome. Yeah, I'm definitely doing a leopard one next. I love leopard. <laughs> it's probably my favorite pattern. Where I'm from in Texas. Oh gosh, leopard is a way of life. <laughs> Their houses are all covered in leopard, everybody's. That's okay. I'm gonna do this black and black polka dots. It's gonna be super cute. I've done all kinds of stuff to bottoms of cactuses. A um, thing I love to do is serape. And you know, I get, think people get intimidated by it because it's so much and it, it kinda does take a little bit, but I mean, there are so many different ways to do it. I, I draw it out with my tape, but then also, I've done it by hand and really mixed them together to give them like a ombre effect. And I mean, it's, oh gosh, the Serape is so cute. So, so cute on it. That, I really love the polka dot. But yeah, these are, I'm making these right now for, um, the sale. So make sure you tune in if you see this and you like it and you're like, oh, I need that. I mean, you can always make an order, but tune into that sale too. If you're in the Odessa Midland area, um, I have all my stuff in the Pink Llama Boutique also. So yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with that um, apple barrel, uh, the Christmas green. See, it's funny. These are two Christmas greens, but they are two very different colors. This one's very dark and one's very light, so, you know. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a, just a small skinny brush and I am going to do just like a very light-handed outside edge here. I don't want too much on my brush. I just want Little highlights, see that? You want to be very black handed with that.
to do this. This is middle one. See how easy it is to create dimension, you know? I think so many people are scared of that. You know, and it's it's so easy. You just you just go with it. Who doesn't love glitter? Okay, so I'm going in with, imagine that, <laughs> Anita's Metallics. I love their Metallics. They are, oh gosh, they're so good. They're, they, look how gorgeous that is. Can you see that? So beautiful. And I'm using the Classic Gold. And you know what I love about Anita's? It's so cheap. They're 77 cents for the little bottle. And then these are $2.99 at Happy Lobby. These go 30% off all the time and so do these. I mean, you can't beat it and they're just such good quality. I swear this is not sponsored. I, just, I love them. They're so, so good. So good. Okay, now I'm just gonna go in and just do some little you see that? I'm gonna give it some, I don't know what you call them. Thorns, thorns, prickly thorns. These don't have to be perfect. Just go, just do a middle one. One, two, three, out to the edge. I mean, so easy, so, so easy. But this is just the bottom part of it and then I'm gonna go over it with black and then we're gonna add some of this glitter, glitter what is it so that tulip the little fabric paint but the glitter one and it just gives everything just a little extra i don't know i love it i use it when i do flowers on yard sign um which I'll probably do a video of next. It's a big yard sign. Um, yeah, so make sure, like I said, like, subscribe. When you subscribe, make sure you hit that little bell button so when you know that I've made a new video, then you can come hang out. And if you want, I can send you templates of things if you want to cut out and follow along um you know something i do is i use a projector i uh get things online and i use a projector to project it onto the piece of wood and just draw it out trace it out and go and you know i learned something the other day from another um painter that does this live, she gets, cause I cut out two at the same time, she gets her wood sheets and then she clamps them together and just cuts them out. And I was like, oh my gosh, mind blown, <laughs> mind blown. It was amazing. And I was like, holy cow, I can't believe, how did I not ever know this trick? And it has totally saved my life. Cause sometimes, you know, you're cutting out so many at the time and you just look at it and you're like, oh no, there's too many. Okay, now I'm gonna go with black. And I mean, this thing is so thin. It's the thinnest brush I have. I'm sorry. I know I need to zoom in so y'all can see. And we're just gonna go over it again. Just go right over the other gold. I don't know if you see it there. I'll do some more so you can. Cause yeah, I just want them to be real thin. And this is another thing you're just gonna have to be really light-handed with. 
what you're gonna do is start out on the bottom and dot it and then go up with it. And when you go up, when you flip, you have a bigger brush again, but I mean, it's still one of those small skinny ones. And I'm gonna do just a little small, really light-handed black outline. Like I said, I mean, this is like really, really light-handed. thing with this flower. See, just a little bit of black. You're almost done. Now, all we have is the black polka dots. Do. I have to go back over that one because it just does not want to cover black. <laughs> it's driving me nuts. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. Take a small brush. I'm going to make a little outside edge. This does not have to be perfect, just okay. Now I'm gonna let this dry in a minute because I'm gonna give it a few white details down to the polka dots here, but we're gonna take the the glitter glue. And we're going to do. And this one we're going to do heavy handed. We want to like scrape it kind of. So you don't want it real thick. You can hear me, you know, touching it to the wood here. I'm doing just like a little line and then 
letting it go up. And this right here is just going to give so much character to this little thing. It's going to be adorable. I think I'm just going to do the swirls on the inside of the flowers because you don't want to go overboard with glittering everything. I'm just gonna do little. No, nope. see, that's the thing about painting. You know, you can do little things, and if you don't like it, paint over it. Get to it. Do that all the time, where I'm like, you know, oh, this will be cute, and then don't like it, so just paint right over it. Of course, that one was white, so. I'm gonna have to wait till it dries to do another coat of that black. But here is our adorable little cactus. He has so much fun. Um, when he dries, um, well, there'll be a thumbnail for what this cutie looks like when he's dried. He has a cute little bow on him and a hanger. Um, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Um, like I said, please like, subscribe, tell your friends about it, um, and comment below what you would like to see next, or if you want a template, and I will set you one. Um, thanks so much.